People, right now I'm vex. I don't know Alkaline not answer the mission. Yet them say I'm more war with massacre. People, dance hall is a competitive sport. Jabs or subs I go through. It doesn't mean it's going to be a war. Every dance hall artist throws jabs at each other. Cause everybody wants to be the best in the game. But boy, at this dance hall I come to, putting Easter eggs in videos, Make man a turn Sherlock Holmes to analyze every video. Jaja, my name said the shoes in the static video is the same in Massacre's grandfather's video. Jaja, so that it correlate in him dissing Massacre. So, Alkaline really I go do that for a video Massacre released two years ago. You know how much music video Massacre released since then? Him could at least use something, something more current, something up to date, you know? People not go say that and, and just... Say, oh, you know, say, I'm not, oh, what the fuck, oh, who figured that out? Oh, somebody figured, oh, who figured that out? Yo, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not even going to go into that, you know. But we'll just move on in that video. People, static isn't even a diss song to a specific person. It's a warning song to everybody in the industry right now. Right you now, a uh, lolly, I get warning. Alkaline is warning everybody that they don't want to play with him. That's why him said in the song, them do want no static. Every bad man song or gun song isn't directing to another artist. Where you go say no? What pop is at this song? That's not go say no. What pop is that? You know, say so what pop is at this song to a certain artist, yeah? People, this war feel forced. I'm a love a lyrical battle, but a manufactured beef is not nice like a real one. War for personal. Bone to kill and beanie man. Vibes Cartel and Movado, Popcorn vs Alkaline, all classic clashes. And what they all have in common was that the beef was real. People know said the war was genuine. You know, two artists who genuinely hated each other at the time. This just doesn't feel like a real war to me. Maybe I'm the only one that feels so, but I just have to speak my mind. But who would benefit off a massacre and alkaline clash? The artists will see a boost on their diss songs and people will talk about them. But this will only have an effect in Jamaica and the Caribbean. No disrespect but the two artists them establish and them graduate from that stage. And if even if one lose the clash outrightly, it won't have a negative effect on their careers. Those days are over when an artist lose a clash back then, them career take a big hit. But not now, I mean Popcorn did two times in a matter of months. And him carry is still going well. Both artists have a huge fan base worldwide. And both are talented enough to bounce back. Is it that the fans benefit out of this war? No. They would be entertained and have something to talk about. But the person who would benefit the most is the vloggers. Yeah. The same one who let Uno know say Alkaline shade massacre in the static video. Now, I could be wrong. But man a man, we can't admit when we're wrong. If Alkaline really want a war with Massacre, then Veta fans, sorry, but Alkaline lose a point in this war already. Hear me out before you attack me in the comments. Yes, Alkaline is known to throw jabs at artists, but this is not how you start a war. The little passive aggressive subliminal this is in the video seem weak. Massacre up by a point, you know. Cause the man posts on IG because he heard the commotion online about a war. So the man just released a post saying, just said the word. The man come out live and direct, say him ready for a confrontation. But Alkaline need to come out and be more direct in his disses. Because a Easter egg in a video is not dancehall. That's more on the hip hop side. Dancehall is supposed to be raw and direct. For that, if Alkaline really want a war, him lose a point in my eyes. And Alkaline are my artist, but everybody can be up to criticism, even me. But Alkaline has been direct in the past. Remember him say Flapcorn, Honey Palmer, Frog Face. The list go on and on. So based on the past, if Alkaline wanted a war, him would have said Mosquito or something along those lines. We know majority want to see the war. They don't care if it's a force war, but right now, it's in alkaline hands. I'm still not answer the mission. I'm still vex. <laughs> Alright, fun and joke aside. Alkaline, if you want a war, you know how to start one. 
Right now you have the whole of Jamaica and the Caribbean waiting on your next move. Check out New Rules July 2nd at the National Stadium. Wait. Rotted. You know, so this could just be a publicity stunt for people to, to get alkaline name out there for New Rules. Make me put down my conspiracy at ya, man. So if the war for start, for real, who would I think would win this war? Well, to be honest, I kind of experience in more popcorn, squash, and he has throw jabs at Vibes Cartel. So you know saying brave. And him have the necessary skills to dominate in a war. But experience can create overconfidence, and overconfidence can get you killed in a war. First off, Massacre is a lyrical machine gun. Alkali never really wore a foe that's lyrical as Massacre. Massacre has had skirmishes with Idonia, in Kilshan Dizzy and Kaledo. So Massacre isn't a stranger to war. But a war of this magnitude, to be honest, me feel Massacre would relish this war. Cause he would want to show the world what he is capable of. It can go 50-50 for both sides. But I think I will give the edge to Alkaline. Why Alkaline? Well, because you can't ignore experience. Remember when Alkaline get the bus, he must claw him away to stay relevant in an industry where majority of his colleagues were his enemies and him survive. Can't take that away from him. Don't get me wrong, Masika still can beat Alkaline no, cause he has the ability to do so. But for this war, I'm going with experience. But guess what, may not get too excited cause this could be much ado about nothing. Tell me who you think would win this war in the comments. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And to all my subscribers, don't forget to press the notification bell. So that you will be notified when a new video is out. Thank you to all my subscribers. Probably said this a lot but I really appreciate the support. And you can now follow me on my new Instagram account, musicmx876. And if you want to communicate with me, you are free to do so. The link will be in the description. I have a special video coming out Sunday. Stay safe, stay blessed and thanks for watching.